Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Dan Jacks, and today I'm back at it again with another video reviewing a cordless skipping rope. So, I hear you saying, I know, you're saying it, cordless skipping rope. Well, um, I've got it here. You can see we've got the packaging here, it's pretty plain. So then they call this jump rope, we've got on the side, just there, comes in grey or pink or dashes, uh, three colours there, and um, yeah, let's take a look inside, this has been opened before, this isn't even mine, um, so yeah, let's uh, take a look, so um, we pull these out here, we've got our instructions very handy, just take a look at these, we have got some English instructions right there, I'll put them just to the side. And protected in bubble wrap, we have both halves to our cordless skipping rope. I'll just take these out here so we can see just what it looks like. Also in this one, it looks like we have got a little thing here to take out the batteries. Like a screwdriver just there. Yeah, I'm going to pop these back in and we can take a first look at this new uh, skipping rope. I'll pop this back in and this is like a little screwdriver there. So you might have heard it beep just then. Um, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see the display, I'll hold up to the camera try and get it to focus. But basically just sort of, there we've got our weight, we can actually put our weight in so it can count the calories that we have burned, it also counts our jump and the time that we've been going as well. We take a look at the instructions, there's not really a lot to say, I drop them on the floor, it just basically shows you the main ins and outs, you can have a timer on it if you really want to, I don't know why you'd want to, and it can count here all the way up to 999 calories, if you go over a thousand you're dead, you've done too much skipping. Similarly, if you are 19 kilograms of weight, or 111, you can't actually use this properly because again, I'll try and see if you can see that just there, the weight limit is 20 to 110 kilograms. So there we have it, we've uh, had a little unboxing and uh, show you how it works. So basically we've got this little nunchuck style thing. As we skip, this little ball at the end spins around and it counts our jump. Just then I jumped 10 times. So yeah, that's very interesting and we went for 8 seconds, which is um, novel. But I suppose my main problem with this so far is that it's called a cordless skipping rope when, as a matter of fact, this thing has 100% more cords than a normal skipping rope. We have two cords here with little balls attached to the end of them, like little testes, and that, that, that doesn't imply cordless to me. Now, it doesn't make a full cord, I'll grant you that, we don't have these two handles connected together but it's still got cords, and that's a problem because I like it when something that's cordless has no cords I can see. But anyway, it beats. Anyway, let's uh, let's brush our opinions to one side for a moment. Let's take it outside and let's test this thing out.
So I've tried out the skipping rope. I must say I'm not impressed. My, uh, well, in that three and a half minutes timed on here, I was out there. I jumped 700 times, and that didn't seem right because I didn't. It miscounts it, and it's also very easy to just sort of sit there like this and just go all day. You can just sit here. And just rack up. Right, there are 26 jumps in 11 seconds. And that's. It's, it's cheating yourself, but it's too easy to cheat yourself. If you've got an actual skipping rope and started flinging it around like that, you'd kill yourself. You'd rack it around your neck, or you'd pull it somehow and you'd strangle yourself. And that's really one of the pros of an actual skipping rope. Another thing I found in one of those clips in that little montage. You'll have seen that this one was skipping forward, this one was skipping backwards, and that was just the way that well, I'm trying to do it now. There, and it, it it just it was too easy to make a silly mistake like that because it didn't. It's not helpful, quite frankly. It, do, it doesn't simulate actually skipping. Most of the time one was going faster than the other, and that's not how skipping works. Skipping works where both go around at the same time. So, I'm gonna say it, I don't like it. So, I think I'm gonna turn this off. If I could, there's no off button. But, yeah. This, is, this isn't a, a good thing. I wouldn't recommend buying it if you want to. Um, there'll probably maybe be a link to Amazon in the description. Just, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend it. But if, if you do want to do that, go ahead. Don't let me stop you. I'm sure there'll be two or three more reviews out there on the YouTubes. Um, one of which, actually, I'll put that a little mention in now. This is actually a two-part review. My friend Ojas Pradhan hasn't made videos in a while. He said he wanted to get back into things uh, to help me through it, you know, like do, do a few collaborations. And we're actually collaborating on this skipping rope review right here. This is his skipping rope, if you could call it a skipping rope. And um, he said he wants to review. He wants to see how well my reviews received, and uh, then uh, if it's if it's received well, he'll uh, do a second part review to this, give you his opinion. He was the one who bought it, so he obviously saw some promise. But uh, yeah, so um, hit the like button down there. If we reach three likes, Oda said, he will do a review. So um, let's hit three likes, let's get on with that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more future content on things such as gaming, tech, whatever, whatever I decide to do. Um, yeah, like, Subscribe and uh, maybe leave a comment as well if you're feeling especially thoughtful and have something to say. Maybe you own one of these and you want to tell us what you think. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.